This is the shift schedule template at SharePointDashboards.com. This template allows you to set up a shift schedule for workers using nothing more than a SharePoint list. You can assign colors for different categories of work. So this could be based on the role of the worker for that day, maybe the area of the building they're working in or what kind of job they're doing, like uh, customer service or something of that nature. You can control the look of this grid by adjusting the different color settings. And in fact, when you first go in, you can try some different options. You can also, if you want, hide Sunday and Saturday, as you can see in this case, if you don't want to see the weekend dates. By default, it's going to include those days. In SharePoint, you're just going to need a list which has pre-configured fields. There's two ways to do this. The easier way is to download the STP file, and that's a list template fi file, and you can just download that directly from the site. And there's also some instructions about managing list templates if you go that route. Alternatively, you can download an Excel workbook if you wanna just create your fields from scratch and uh, get it set up like that. So that's your first step is just getting your schedule list set up with all the required fields, which you'll show in the view. And at that point, you can just uh, save that as a new view and then apply your template. And then you're gonna get a look like this. What you'll notice is that each row shows the worker name and then also the date range for that work. And then you're gonna have a total number of hours, which is auto calculated based on the start and end times. So just as an example, I'm gonna add another worker to this list and I'll do that right now. So we'll say employee John Baker and I need to make sure I pick a Sunday start date. So this is all starting for the week of May 4th. So I'll just pick on that, pick that date. And there you can see John Baker is now in the schedule. And then adding information is easy. You can, if you want, just go to the edit form by clicking on the worker name, but generally more easy is just to click in the view and it'll show a pop-up window. So if I want to assign John to work on Monday, I can go ahead and assign his start time. I want him to come in at 9 a.m. and then we're gonna have him working till 4 p.m. Just typing the values. And then I need to assign his category of work. We're gonna say that he's working produce and that's it. So notice that it automatically fills in with a background color that I've assigned using the template and it's auto calculating the number of hours based on the start and end time. I can see that for individual days and then I can see the week total on the left under my worker name. So that's it. That's all you need to do in order to use this template. Once you've applied this template from SharePoint dashboards, you're ready to go. You can create different views based on your date ranges or based on the category of work or different workers, however you want to do that. This template is available to download as part of the subscription package at SharePointDashboards.com. If you've not yet used this tool, you can sign up to use 21 free templates and then go on to sign up for a subscription if you want to take advantage of these options. I hope you find that useful and good luck.